let's face it, Tesla is facing a tough time. Competition from Chinese EV makers like BYD, NIO, and x is rising fast. Tesla's higher price tag is only part of the problem. The real issue may be something deeper, that is lack of visible innovation. Much like the iPhone, Tesla's cars are starting to feel dated that are stuck in a particular design template. Sure, the Cybertruck was bold and different, but it's a niche product with limited mainstream appeal. Ironically, Tesla doesn't need a radical reinvention to get back on the top. The solution has been sitting in plain sight the whole time. For years, companies like Sono Motors, Lightyear, and Aptera have tried to chase the Holy Grail, a mass-produced, roadworthy, highway-capable, self-charging solar electric vehicle. Each of these mentioned companies brought something unique to the table, whether it was clever solar integration, advanced battery tech, or aerodynamic design. But they all hit the same wall. Either they couldn't raise enough capital or they couldn't reduce production costs to a viable level. This is where Tesla stands apart. Even from an engineering standpoint, Tesla is miles ahead. Their powertrain, battery pack, motors, software is among the most well-integrated and efficient there is. Their vehicles are lightweight, their chassis is strong, and their designs are highly aerodynamic. The Model 3 and Model S have some of the lowest drag coefficients of any production cars ever made. Then there is solar tech. Tesla's experience with photovoltaic systems stretches back nearly a decade to its 2016 acquisition of Solar City. Since then, it's built and deployed rooftop panels, solar roof tiles, and battery storage systems like the Powerwall. That kind of real-world experience in solar integration and energy storage is something no other automaker can match. In fact, Tesla once considered solar integration on the Cybertruck, promising up to 15 miles of range per day or even 30 miles with a double-sized solar tonneau cover. Financially, Tesla has another major advantage. Unlike the Lightyear or the Aptera, Tesla isn't scrambling for funding. With a market cap near a trillion dollars, it has the financial power to invest in R&D and scale up production of the solar-assisted vehicle, something that's proven to be the biggest stumbling block for others. For the skeptics of self-charging solar cars, university teams and startups have already proven the concept. In 2022, the SunSwift 7, a solar race car, Built by students in Australia, set a Guinness World Record by traveling a thousand kilometers under 12 hours using nothing but solar energy. No plug, no grid, just the sun. Similarly, another solar integrated car, the Stella Terra, completed a thousand kilometer off road trip through Morocco and the Sahara purely on solar power in October of 2023. Also at the other end of the spectrum, we have the Scott Solar City Car, a small lightweight EV with a rooftop panel that provides up to 12 miles of solar range per day. It's ideal for short urban trips, but its 28 miles per hour top speed makes it impractical for highways or longer commutes. Tesla has a chance to split the difference. Imagine a compact, affordable commuter car designed for one or two people. Something light, aerodynamic, and solar equipped. Not a full replacement for Model 3 or Y, but a complementary vehicle that redefines daily transport for millions. Just enough solar to offset the average urban commute, just enough efficiency to make it feel like magic. No other company is better equipped to make that happen. Tesla has the technology, the solar know-how, the production experience, and the money to build what no one else has managed to deliver, a truly practical self-charging solar car. And if they do it right, they won't just answer the competition, they'll make it irrelevant. If you learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who still thinks that solar cars are just science fiction. The future is already here, it just hasn't been built by Tesla yet.